Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very, very special video that I decided to make because why not? Now, excuse the blurriness of the photos, but as you can see, this was the setup that I use to record my guitar parts, my audio, and so on. This is my little mini studio in the closet. Oh yeah, fun fact, I am a Destiny 2 fan. Anyway, I decided that it was about time for me to change the setup and um, make things pretty again because as you can see, things are falling apart and there are quite a lot of dust behind the, uh, the uh, rack, the shoe rack that I use to put my PC on. And so we're gonna clean up everything we're going to change the orientation of our setup and we're going to make everything pretty again so i hope you um i hope you enjoy this okay so the thought process i had for cleaning my closet was essentially number 1 taking everything out of the closet that is i think that is a very logical thing to do um, anyone would start with that. And then number two, after taking everything out, clean the space in general, take out any trash that you might have left it behind in the closet, and then proceed to vacuum it. Number three is to place the shoe rack back into the orientation that I want it to be, um, just to test if um, I could place my chairs or my shoe rack in any other angles possible. Number four, after confirming how I want to leave my shoe rack, put everything back in again, and then finally um, fix the foam pads or the uh, soundproofing foam that I have um, back onto the walls, and then set up all my instruments and audio equipments again, and um, we would be good to go. So yeah, enjoy... Uh, enjoy the video of me just essentially cleaning my closet. <laughs> okay, um, so as y'all can see, it's a very dark environment in here without any source of light. Those are the panels I need to replace. Everything I did was stuck with a duct tape and a type of washable carpenter's glue, just to make sure I don't leave any stains in my landlord's house. Overall, you could also see a lot of bits and pieces that I need to clean up. These are all um, like the bits of um, leather and also just the amount of things I need to clean up. What happened before this was I would leave some of my unimportant clothing down on the slide. But if we want to change the setup, I may have to just shuffle them somewhere else. So uh, we're going to do that and get back to you. Before I go on any further, we are just going to vacuum. Uh, you can't see it obviously, but the floor is um, kind of screwed up. And although I do vacuum this place, you know, every now and then, um, it is obviously not enough. There are places behind my shoe rack that I cannot reach, and so I only do this every now and then. So let's do the vacuuming. Later. Um, okay, right now the problem I have is that I don't have enough space to put the small little coffee table where I usually put my keyboard. Um, and so I'm going to have to decide between abandoning this chair or somewhat changing that setup so that I could fit it in. Um, I'm gonna think for a bit. And, um, yeah, this is the main mess I have to deal with. The thought I had out of it is that we will place the PC over there behind my office chair with my PC over there. So just flipping the setup around, um, we'll see how that goes. Two hours later. Right now, I have kind of the general setup done. I cleaned the two shelves. Down there, there will be like a bunch of stuff for 
my mattress. Those are the ones that I don't use. And uh, what will happen is um, because the LED strip lights over here, the power unit makes a lot of noise. So we're going to hide the uh, power unit, um, the plug. We're going to hide the plug behind those uh, uh, those things for the mattress so that it would reduce the noise and um, the chair right here still cleaning up I'll update you After a bunch of struggle, um, this is what it came to be. Now, obviously, I still have to fix some of the uh, um, foam pads, but we're making very good progress. Down here is where I will keep my uh, my DJ controller, my interface, and my studio headphones. And then down there would be the um, set of um, uh, cushion you could say for um, the LED strips that I was talking about if you do remember I also have a mixer oh wait I didn't I didn't mention that before never mind anyway I do also have a mixer so after I clear out the top make it more neat I could just place the mixer on top because the mixer isn't too heavy um, so once again, overall, this is uh, kind of what we're working with. So after millions and millions of years, here is the result that came out of it. I obviously still have to clean some of the clothing that is um, on the shelf above, but overall you can see it is now very neat. Uh, everything is cleaned. I just need to like make sure some of the dust um, is gone, but here you go, a new setup. So thank you again for joining me on this journey and uh, you can look forward to hearing more music from me. Closet out.